Welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, we'd like to work on finding the area of composite figures. A composite figure is a figure made up of more than one geometric shape. For instance, in this composite figure, we have a rectangle and a triangle. So in order to find the area, you can just find the area of the two different shapes and then add them. In this example, we have first a rectangle, and I'll outline the rectangle. And we know that the area formula for a rectangle is equal to length times width. So we'll do a length of 10 times a width of 6, which equals 60. Okay. Then next, we have a triangle. And the area formula for a triangle is equal to 1 half base times the height. Well, in this particular triangle, we have a base of 6 meters because we know that these two are the same, so I'll move the 6 over to here. So we have a base of 6 and a height, and we know the triangle the height is because you have a right triangle, is 7 meters. So 6 times 7 is 42, and then one half of that is equal to 21. So now we will combine those two numbers. So we have the area of the rectangle, which was 60. Rectangle was 60, and the area of the triangle is 21. So that grant gives you a grand total of 81. And remember your units of measure, which is meters squared. So there's number 1. Okay, let's jump in and work a second one. And in this one, we're going to find the area of the shaded area. So, let's see what we have. We have a rectangle, and then we have two smaller boxes. So to find the shaded area, we all we need to do is find the area of the rectangle and subtract out the area of the two boxes. So let's go ahead and begin. But now this is kind of tricky because we need to add these two numbers for the total length. So anyway, the area of a rectangle is length times width, and the length will be 32 plus 8, 32 plus 8, which is equal to 40, and the width is 8 plus 8, which is equal to 16, so that equals uh, length times width is going to t be oh what do we got here we've got 40 times 16 which is equal to 640 but now we need to subtract out these two areas so the area of a, another square or rectangle will be 8 times 8 which is equal to 64 and we have two of these, so we multiply 64 times 2, which equals 128. Now for the area of the shaded area, we take 640 minus 128, and that is going to equal 500. So the answer is 512. And since this is a measurement, we need to make sure we get our unit of measure, and that it's in feet. And the area is squared, so it would be 512 feet squared. So in summary, with this composite figure, the shaded area, I had a rectangle, but I had these two boxes or two squares that I needed to subtract. So I found the total area and then subtracted the area of these two boxes and came up with 512 feet squared. Let's go ahead and look at this last one. And at first it looks tricky, but we just have two semicircles. And the area of a semicircle is one half pi times radius squared. And, you know, an area of a circle is pi times radius squared. Well, a semicircle is one half of a circle, so it would be one half times pi times radius squared. Also be careful, one has a diameter of six and the other has a diameter of five. Remember, the diameter of a circle is the distance all the way across the circle. So the radius will be one half of that. So one half of six will be three, and one half of five will be two and a half. So let's go ahead and get the area of this first semicircle. 
So I will take 1 half times pi, and the radius is 3, because I took half of this 6, and that will be squared. I then will go 1 half pi times 9, because 9 is 1 half, excuse me, is 3 squared. I then need to take 1 half of 9, which is 4.5. So the area of this side is 4.5 pi. Now remember when you're working with pi, pi is an exact answer. If you want to get an estimation, you can multiply it by 3.14 or longer. Okay, so we have this one. Now we need to get the area of this semicircle. So we will take 1 half times pi times um, 2.5 squared because this is the diameter and the radius is half the diameter. I then will take 1 half times pi and 2.5 squared is equal to 6.25. So then um, 1 half of 6.25 becomes 3.125. Five pi. So now I have the area of this side is 4, make sure I don't run off the page, 4.5 pi. And the area of this semicircle is 3.125 pi. So then when you add these two together, that equals 7. Let me move this up. Sorry about that. Becomes 7.625. Pi. Okay, that is an exact answer. If you want an estimation, you can multiply 7.625 times 3.14, or you can add more places if you would like, and that gives you 23.9425, and both of these will be centimeters squared. Hope that helps. I also stay tuned. Thanks for watching.